hey guys welcome back to my channel so first i want to start off with saying thank you thank you thank you i'm now at 135 subscribers so at first i was already at 99 because i used to do hair tutorials so to know that you know i'm still you know you guys are enjoying in my budget and i'm so thankful and grateful so thank you for you guys for subscribing so I wanted to do a face to face because somebody had commented on my last envelope stuff and it was like, please tell me how somebody can pretty much budget and still be able to get your nails and your lashes done. So for me, when I first started my budgeting journey in December 2019, I was like, okay, so with some stuff that I can cut out, some stuff I just can't cut out. So as far as my nails and my lashes what i did was instead of getting them done twice a week i now get them done once a month instead of getting my lashes done way more than what i do i only get them done once a month also and for me it's if i budget for it so i budget for it but if i don't have the money to get it done they won't get done if I do have the money to get things done, then they will get done. But it's not really like a necessity. It's self-care, which I feel like on this journey, we still have to reward ourselves. So that's my way of rewarding myself. Some things I could let go, some things I couldn't. So what I did, I would just pretty much decrease my frequency of how often I got those things done. And also I am credit card debt free. So I don't have any credit card that needs to be paid off or anything like that. So for me, I'm working on my car loan and my student loan. So my gift to myself is still being able to get my nails and lashes done and still being able to budget and do what I have to do. Everybody's situation different. So what, what might work for some people might not work for other people and vice versa. So my video actually for today, I just wanted to make that comment, but my video for today is I'm going to be doing an extra cash stuff and video. Um, summer camp is starting back up, but there won't be any trips this year. So I was like the main point of my daughter going to summer camp is so she can enjoy the trips. But being as though there won't be any trips this year, I opted out for her to not attend summer camp this year. So since I opted out, I had $400 budgeted for her summer camp fee. So what I'm going to do is since she's not going to summer camp, I'm going to take that $400 and put it some where else or to some other good uses i mean i guess i could just take the whole lump sum and put it somewhere but i feel like some cash envelopes needed some loving so that's what i did so we're going to be stuffing an extra 400 dollars in these cash envelopes and i recorded i actually recorded me this time seeing how i wanted to stuff it and how i wanted to do it since i usually don't do that on my channel so we're going to be doing some extra stuff next had a couple of categories that I really wanted to give some money to in a sense or more so just some category that I thought that needed to be stuff that should be stuff so being as though this was pretty much my daughter's summer camp money I am going to give Amaya she'll get a hundred dollars to go into her penny challenge so pretty much her savings account 400 minus 100 gives me 300 um, I had to pay for school parking in August being as though I don't know what's going on with school um, School might be open, it might not be open, but just in case I want to prepare. And if I don't need the 300, I'll be doing something like this again. And also my daughter cheerleading is $200 for the whole season. Not sure what's going to happen with that neither. So if that happens, then I have an extra 200 that I could put somewhere else. So her part, my parking, I believe I want to put, I'm at 180, so I feel like 20. To make it a hundred left, so minus twenty two eighty. My next is my student loan, so no interest till September. So I'm trying to see if I can le at least knock down one by September. So student loan, I want to do one fifty. Um, next. 
next. I think I want to do my daughter's back to school. Don't know what's going to happen with that neither, but I'd rather be prepared than not prepared. I want her back to school balance to be 500. Might be a little bit much for her. I'm not sure what to really budget for school, but that's like her school supplies, book bag, clothes. So I think 500 is good for a third grader. So I think her back to school has close to 400. So I'm almost there. So I think I'm just putting 12 because I think it's like 340 just to make it even. Um, next I wanted to do was Christmas. Christmas is coming up. I want to make sure for all that's going on, my baby has a great Christmas. So I'm budgeting like a thousand and one off of the Christmas tracker that I'm doing. So I believe for Christmas, I'm doing 19. So I'm odd because I'm trying to make it like even numbers. I hate odd numbers in my envelopes, but <laughs> so I'm making it 19. I want to do my school, so I'm not trying to take out any more loans. So therefore, if I do owe a balance after, you know, my grants and everything, if it's like $200, $300, $400, I owe, I'm just trying to pay it in cash. Oops, I forgot my L. So school, I'm going to put 20. Um, Car maintenance. My car maintenance actually has a good amount in there, but... I did my front tires and I know by the winter I'll need my back tires. And being as old, I upgraded my Jeep to pretty much bigger tires. The tires cost more. So I'm going to be putting 50 in there and I need an oil change soon. So, um, gifts. Uh, let me minus my 50 so I'll stay on track. It's 29 gifts. I'm going to put 20 in there. My sister's birthday is coming up. So got to get her a gift. And then my emergency fund, minus 20 for gifts. My emergency fund kick at the last $9. So I said I want my daughter's penny challenge. She'll be getting 100 And that's just more so extra money in her savings, which technically this was her money anyway. It was just first time account, so I'm going to put it to good use. So that is done. My school parking. School parking. School parking is getting 20. So they're bringing me to two. So I'm at $100, $100 short left, which I think is great. Like I said, I'm not sure what's going to happen with school. But I'd rather budget for it than not budget for it. So parking got 20. My student, sorry y'all. My student loans are getting 150. When I have $85 in there. So I'm trying to plan anytime I get a payment of 300 to just go ahead and make a payment on there on my student loans. I'm trying to now I'm kind of racing against the game because September be here before you know it. So student loans gets one fifty. So I gotta count that up when I finish. And then if it's at my goal of three hundred that I want to do, I'll go ahead and make that payment. So student loan got one fifty, and I think I'm done with this binder. Yes, yeah, so I'm done with this binder. My next one is, first of all, it's upside down. My next one is my daughter's back to school. Her back to school has 338 now. So my goal was 500. So she has, sorry, she has 338 in there. So just to make it an even number, I'm gonna put 12 in there. I'll do my cards and stuff later. Back to school, got 12. Christmas is getting 19. I try to put in my alphabetical order. I guess I didn't. 
Oh, no, I put them in order as to when they're due. So Christmas is getting 19. Yeah, I caught it that time. <laughs> so Christmas gets 19. Try to make my numbers even. I hate uneven numbers in my envelopes, but sometimes with the challenges and stuff, sometimes that's how it is. So summer camp is all empty because I'm using the money. Uh, my school is getting 20. So I'm hoping they might reduce if we still are online and they reduce some of the fees, like all them extra fees we be having. So I'm hoping so, and that will help me out. So this is all done. My next is some of my sinking funds. My car maintenance has 296 in there and I'm adding a 50. I would like my budget to stay at 500 for car maintenance, but we know how that goes as far as car maintenance. I do need an oil change, and I know come the winter, I'm going to need new back tires. So I'm saving up for that. Car maintenance is done. Next is gifts. My sister's birthday is coming up. So I got to get her a gift. My Funds are down because of Father's Day, of course. So gifts gets 20, 5, 10, 15, 20. Maybe I'll get her a gift card or something. And then last but not least is my emergency fund. My emergency fund will be getting nine and I already reached my thousand dollar goal for my emergency fund. So now I'm just working on, my baby steps are all over the place. I mean, I don't know. I feel like just keep saving, especially with time, the way times are going. I'd rather just keep building my emergency fund. So it's getting the last $9. And there we have it. So at the end of the month, well, of course, I'm going to do my cash stuff. But at the end of the month, there will be, I will be doing a six month check-in since I started December 2019. I'll be doing a check-in to see how much I saved so far in six months. And I'm so excited to see how much all together equaled up. But until next time, guys, thank you. Stay safe and see you in the next one. Bye.